Welcome back. There's a little bit more that we need to do with our project detail page to add some more functionality for our admin experience and then to add some more buttons that will allow us to link files and invoices to each of these projects. So we're going to finish up some loose ends and lay some groundwork for some future lessons in this one. Let's get started. So in the top right corner here, we have this list detail block on the project detail page. Now we want admins to be able to edit and delete this project if they so want to, and clients cannot do that. So for that, what do we need to do? We need to add a couple handy dandy action buttons. So we can go right over to our actions here, item details buttons, and we're gonna add our first button, and it's gonna be for an edit record. And this is gonna be called edit project. And then for the edit project, we need to allow the only the admin to see this. So logged in users and admin. So only admins can edit this project, okay? That goes back to our app requirements. Admins can do it, clients cannot. So now that we have that visibility set for edit project, let's go in and add our fields, starting with our project name. Project name. Go into our clients. Let's just go here. It's going to be company. There it is. And then after company, we want to go to our cover image. And this is going to be a file uploader, which is also right there, file. And it's going to be cover image. Carrot that. Add another field. This is going to be a drop down for our status project status. Again, it pulls in those options that we have in our Airtable base for us. I drop down and then we're going to have a long text for our description. And then we're going to have the project members that we want for this. So it's going to be a drop down as well. And we're going to allow them to select multiple items on that. So allow multiple selections in this drop down. First. And then we're just going to add two more things, the start date and the end date. And for the start date, we need to go with a date picker. It's going to be start date. And for the end date, we need a date picker again. End dates. End dates. Now that should be pretty good. So we're going to keep that there, and then we're going to go and add another button up top here. Add another button, and this button is going to delete the button, the record. So delete project there. And we'll update the title to be delete project. And then the project has been successfully deleted. And when it has been deleted, where do we want them to be redirected? We'll send them to the dashboard page. That's fair enough. So let's preview this and see what we got on the front end. Now I'm going to open up this project and there we go. We have our edit project and delete project right up there. Now, if I click on edit project, I can see all the details here and I can go through and edit that and I can add this and this, but I'm not going to do that. Or if I want to delete it, I could do that as well, but I don't want to delete that. But I want to show you something here. So I am logged in right now as Leia and Leia is an admin. So let's find someone in our database that is a client. We'll go with Erica. And we will preview as Erica to see what she sees on this experience. Ah, look what we did there. We forgot a very important thing. The visibility settings for the delete button cannot be visible for clients. So let's go back in to our delete button here. Add that visibility setting, setting to just admins. And go back to our preview page. We'll update it. And that should take care of that. Beautiful. Erica's a client. She's logging in. She needs to see her projects and the project detail. But at the moment, we don't want her to edit that or delete that. So that's taken care of now. Another thing that I want to do is I want to add two buttons down here. One button that shows any of the files associated with this project. And we'll have it open in like a side panel right here along with all the files. And then another button for the invoices associated with this project. And that will actually bring you to the invoice page. So I'm going to create these two buttons now. For the lessons, we'll actually create the database structure for files and invoices and create those pages separately. And then in separate later on lessons, we'll tie it all together. 
So I want to add these two blocks now. And if I click on this block, I'm actually not going to be able to add blocks below this because these are only top bar or item buttons, which would go on each of these. So I'm actually going to add a new block. I'm going to go into list details and I'm going to be looking for this block right here, list details with a side image. And again, I'm going to map this to our projects. And from there, it's now mapped to the current project as you see. And I'm actually going to take away all this stuff. So I'm going to make it all invisible here. And leaving me with just the buttons. Now I can go in here and for this button, I'm going to name it files. And I'm actually going to have it open something else, but I can come back here and uh, fix this later on because we're not quite ready to connect to the other side of it. So we'll just keep it as files for now. And then I'm going to add another button. And again, that's going to open something else as well. And this is going to be invoices. And then we're going to go to styles here and just remove some of the padding just to make it look a little bit better there. And then I'm also going to change the background color for these buttons. They're just a little strong. I'm going to actually make it a gray. Let's find a nice gray there. That would be fine, that gray. And then the text color, we're going to make that our black. Gray it a little bit. All right, that's better. And now we'll do the same thing for our invoices button. Go in there, grab the same color that we used before and grab that text color, change it to black. And we should be good to go. So now that we have those buttons added, we've completed what we need to build on the project details page. But as I said before, we need to add some structure in our database for files that we're going to be adding to this experience, also for invoices that we're going to be adding to this experience. So let's do that on future lessons, and I'll see you there.